Villa fans, football fans, <laughs> you can all relax now because it's confirmed. It's a done deal. Moussa Diaby is an Aston Villa player. And finally, the transfer that was really starting to get on my nerves. I'm sure it was getting on your nerves too. Was he coming? Was he not? Well, it's confirmed now. And we can all relax as Unai Amre continues to build his European squad, his challenging team that will want to be pushing into that top four this season. And it is so great to see getting another big name over the line. Of course, we're going to go into this video about who is Moussa Diaby, what will he bring to Aston Villa, and most importantly, importantly my thoughts and feelings on this whole transfer rumour and what this sort of showed about Aston Villa and our pool for players of this calibre. If you haven't already please make sure to drop a like on this stream and of course subscribe to the channel as well. We're on the road to 11,000 subscribers so thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. It does mean a lot and if you haven't well please go down and consider it because it means an awful lot. But without further ado let's get into this. I want to hear your thoughts in the comment sections as well on the transfer of Moussa Diaby. For Aston Villa. So, why did this transfer sort of drag out as it has? The, the ultimate reason is that it's one league and one league only, the bloody Saudi league. This league now is really starting to grind my gears because it just seems to be able to put in a bid for any player that most big European teams are interested in to try and lure them away, to try and change their mind, to try and, you know, make an impact in this sort of transfer merry-go-round. And quite frankly, Aston Villa or having to go up against a bidding war with a Saudi Arabia team to get the signature of Moussa Diaby. What is really telling, though, is what Moussa Diaby has always and apparently preferred, was that Aston Villa was his choice of destination. It was always the club he wanted to. He wanted to test himself in the Premier League, and that is why it was just about tying up the right deal at the other end between Bayer Leverkusen and Aston Villa. The fee that's been agreed is around 50 million plus add-ons, something that all the little gritty bits need to be done, and that add-on section is what has slowed this transfer down. Of course, the Saudi Arabia club came in with bigger proposals, bigger bids, bigger chunks of money, but actually the personal deal and the personal terms between Aston Villa and Moussa Diaby was done weeks ago. And for me, this is a big significant transfer for Unai Emery. So who is Moussa Diaby? What is he going to bring to this Aston Villa team? He is a young winger, 24 years old, electric pace, good stats and numbers behind him in the last few seasons, and of course experienced some really good European football under Bayer Leverkusen, and a team who's really up uh, on the up under Xavi Alonso in the Bundesliga. Last season, in the 2022-23 season, Moussa Diaby uh, accumulated nine goals and eight assists, which is a really decent return, in my opinion, for a winger and a wide man. And as I said, he's a winger, a wide man, where in Unai's Emery system, it is calling out for a player of that ilk and calibre. And as I said, we're always looking to upgrade on your Leon Bailey's of this world, who have been, you know, being asked to play that position. And of course, it will strive and it will bring competition to Leon Bailey. But for me, Moussa Diaby is the next level up and what we need. And if we can get an attacking winger, an attacking wide man, who produces those numbers of nine goals and eight assists, we're really on to a cracking player. Someone, for me as well, who's experienced good elite level clubs. He had a really good season at PSG for, for uh, a young, such a young age, and that is where he sort of broke onto the scene. But also, Bayer Leverkusen came in and snatched him at such a good price. He has also, as I said, been having a very, very key role at the Xabi Alonso's Bayern Leverkusen team, and he has propelled them into a very top German side. So, Unai Amre. Again, he has landed a player that he has sought after. He's landed a player who's got European pedigree, and he's landed a player who I think will cause the Premier League a lot of surprises. Not only have we had interest from Saudi Arabia clubs on this player, but Manchester United and Arsenal have both been heavily linked with Moussa Diaby, and have both shown real interest in this player. Two clubs who are Champions League worthy, and that is the type of player that Moussa Diaby is. So again, for me, this is an Unai Emery purchase. This is an Unai Emery steal, and this is someone who is believing in the Aston Villa project. It's a no-brainer. Yes, 50 million plus add-ons is a lot of money. And Aston Villa are breaking the club transfer record again. But for me, you now have to pay the big bucks for quality. And what I'm liking about this Aston Villa transfer window is that we're not just going for mid-table 
average Premier League signings. And that is what Brennan Johnson stunk off to me when we were linked to Brennan Johnson. A player who with Nottingham Forest finished bottom half of the table. Yes, he was a talented player for them. But is he this European pedigree player? In my opinion, no. Well, as Moussa Diaby is. So this, for me, is another Unai Emery pool. And when more players in Europe can see that Paul Torres and now Moussa Diaby have come to Aston Villa, our club, and want to play on it under Unai Emery, you sort of know that that can have a domino effect. And will that then change the mind of someone else who's heavily linked, who's been playing either Champions League or Europa League football, and wants to come and play for us? So, yes, it's been dragged out. Yes, the Saudis have done their best to sort of jeopardise the league, but we have got our main man. So I want to know in the comment section right now, guys, number one, was it worth the hassle? Was it worth the persistence of trying to get Moussa Diaby? Number two, are you excited that we've landed a winger at our club? Someone who's going to, again, hopefully provide goals and assists. And as I said, nine goals, eight assists last season. Hopefully he could back it up again. Of course, he's got to adapt to the Premier League. There are always questions, and you always hear this. When clubs sign a player from Germany, people always question the legitimacy, the greatness of these players. There have been so many who have come over from the Bundesliga to the Premier League and have flopped. But there are also players who have thrived. And I know Erling Haaland is an incredible specimen and someone who, you know, has just absolutely excelled those expectations. But there are players who can do it. And let's see what happens with Moussa Diaby. He's also a French international. And I think, again, Aston Villa attracting international players is a really must-have. But, yeah, what are your thoughts on this? Is it is it that you would have preferred someone else that we've linked to? A World Cup Notto? Is it a Harvey Barnes? What should Newcastle look like? Have they landed? Would you have preferred Harvey Barnes for the money that they've paid? Or are you happy that we've splashed the cash on such a young incredible talent 24 years old if we can land him uh, for a long long time for the next four or five years we've got something special on our hands finally for me what next for Aston Villa now we've got the tricky winger in now we've got a creative player where do we look to recruit next let me know your thoughts in the comment section do you think we still need an extra forward player an extra striker do you think we need to tighten up in a defensive area or is it in that central area of the pitch or would you like another winger? Do you think that actually any sign of Moussa Diaby for, uh, is not enough? Personally, for me, spending £50 million on a wide man, I can't see us dropping that again on another attacking player. So it does make me question, is that Villa sort of wrapping up the business in that attacking third? And are we now only looking for those sort of, you know, high quality but low key money signings? I don't know. Be interesting to see what the scouts do. If you have enjoyed this video and you are buzzing that Musa Diaby has signed, then smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and thank you for your time watching this. I'll see you on the next one, people. Ta-ra.